funding agreement for Highway 122 stream gauge. Mr. Ty. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Good morning. This is a uh, basically a continuation of the uh, annual agreement that we we bring before you each year with the U.S. Geological Survey. They maintain the uh, stream gauge. They maintain all the stream gauges we have in Lowndes County. The one that um, Lowndes County is responsible for funding is the one at, uh, on Highway 122 over the Little River. Just a little background on how that got to be. Um, in 2009, when we had the, the floods in the spring, uh, the only two gauges we had in Lowndes County were the one at Skipper Bridge and the one on Highway 84. So we really didn't have any way um, to monitor what the river levels were doing on the Little River. So following that, one of the after action things that, that we did contacted the USGS. They provided the equipment, installed the equipment. Then every year since then, we have uh, paid for the maintenance. Um, and it's basically kind of a, a turnkey. We just, we pay the, provide the funding and they, they come up, they calibrate it, make sure everything's working properly. If something tears up, they fix it um, and, and take care of everything for us. And, uh, and, and like I mentioned in the agenda item, uh, over the past few months, we've actually got enough historical data now that we were able to work with the National Weather Service and establish some some flood stages. So now it kind of gives us a, a better um, idea of at certain which at certain levels what areas are going to be impacted. So hopefully we can provide better warnings for the residents. But um, this particular agenda item is just requesting permission to continue funding that for another year. So any questions? I'd be glad to answer. Any questions for Mr. Ty? Yes. Um, on average, how, how many uh, inspections do they conduct a year? Uh, this is thirteen thousand. They, they come out once a month and uh, inspect it, make sure everything's calibrated properly, working properly, uh, there are no, no problems. Now, if they notice any pro like if they're not getting feedback or if they realize that, you know, if something gives them indication that, hey, something's not working, they'll come out more frequently. But just as a matter of routine maintenance, they come out on a monthly basis and, and inspect all of the, um, all of the, the gauges. Okay. I was just wondering because I, I guess I realized that yeah. If a storm takes place, uh, every day, I mean, the water's going to rise. Right. Uh, now, now during, during a storm situation, um, and that's a good question, that, uh, like when we had the floods in 2009, they, they probably came out three or four times a week to the one at Skipper Bridge, especially once it, um, the one at Skipper Bridge, for example, actually went underwater. So then um, you may have seen some pictures of that location, especially at 84, guys were in boats, and they were actually taking um, readings and, and kind of what they do there, they'll come out even if it's even if the, the gauge is working, they'll come out with their boats and their their equipment. And it's kind of that's one of the ways they calibrate it. They'll take their readings, manual readings, and make sure they're pairing up with what what they're getting from the gauge. Um, but during an event like that, they do you know when we're flooding, they come out on a little more frequent basis. But I'll, you know, keep in mind that the closest office that services us is Tifton, and so they cover. 20 something counties so um, you know if if all of them are flooded then that's going to affect how you know how often that how often they're out but during a the flood they try and come out you know on a fairly more frequent basis but you know in normal times when everything's working fine they just come out once a month um, check on them to make sure that if something happens we're, we're good to go okay any other questions for mr. Tyler? All right. thanks sir